Garmin Guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to plot a route in Basecamp from scratch, so from the absolute beginning. So once we've plotted our route, then we're going to export it and navigate it on the Garmin device, and then I'm going to show you how to edit it and how to plot a more elaborate route. So for this example, we're going to plot a route around Hyde Park in central London. So if I click on the Zoom tool and zoom in on London, zoom in a bit more, there we see Hyde Park, so I'll center around that. So the first thing I'll do is create a new list for this demo route. So I go up to my collection and right click and select new list. So I'm going to call this list create a route from scratch. So next I'm going to click on new route and this opens the new route dialog box. So the top drop down there is the activity profile. So select the one that's closest to what you want to do. If you click on the settings next to that, you can adjust the activity profile as required. So these next two boxes underneath are slightly confusing. Drag start point here, drag destination here. So if we've already plotted some points or we have some waypoints, we can drag those from the bottom left into those boxes to start making up our route. But we don't have those in this case, so we're going to click close and just start plotting. So I'm going to start on Queen's Gate and then work my way along the south part of Hyde Park up towards Mayfair, um, past Marble Arch along the north of Hyde Park towards Notting Hill and then down towards High Street Kensington and finish on Gloucester Road. You'll note as I hover the pointer it actually gives the street name of where I'm at so that's pretty useful. So there's our initial route. So I can either click escape or right click to cancel the uh, next route point and right click on the route there and rename. So I'm going to do this so it's easier to recognize when it's on the actual device. So I'm going to call this lap of Hyde Park 1. Now the next thing I'm going to do is send it to my device. So in order to do this the device has to be plugged into the computer. So I right click and click send to and then choose my device as Zemo 590 from the list and click OK. And that's now transferred the uh, route to the device. So the next thing we're going to do is import the route on the device. So we uh, switch the device on, so I'm just docking it in the cradle there. And because we've sent a route, it will prompt us uh, as to whether we'd like to import it now. So I click on import, select the route and click import. Now that's ready to go. So to find it, I click on apps trip planner and there it is lap of Hyde Park so I can click on map to see if it's an accurate representation of what I actually wanted to do so if the route doesn't prompt you to import automatically we can go to the trip planner click on the context menu and click import and again select the route from the list and click import and that will import it as before so here I am in my car we're now going to drive the route so we click apps trip planner lap of Hyde Park 1 and click go. Now we have to choose the start point of the route from the points we plotted so I'll choose the first one click start and then click go. Turn left onto Queen's Gate. Arriving at 020 on the left. In a quarter of a mile Turn right onto Kensington Road. Turn right onto Kensington Road. In three quarters of a mile, arrive at 021 on the left. So that's an example of how to navigate the route we've just plotted. So next I'm going to show you how to export the route to share over email or Dropbox or OneDrive. So to do that we click on the file menu, go to export and choose the list which the route sits in. So from there we can save it on our computer. So next I'm going to show you how to edit the route. So in order to edit the route the first thing we need to do is display the edit features tools. So from there we go to view toolbars and make sure edit features is selected and that creates this new editing toolbar on the left so I'm going to move it over to the right for convenience so from here we have four new tools insert point move point erase point 
and divide the root. So I'm going to show you how to use each of those in turn. So first let's look at insert point. This inserts a point between two existing points. So if we hover between two existing points, we get that black line showing us that we are active between those two points. So if I go between these two at the top and left click, I now get this rubber band where I can insert a new point on the root and it recalculates to accommodate that point. So I've gone north there to Paddington. So I can continue to insert points here or I can right click or click escape and insert a point somewhere else on the route. So for example, down here, I can choose to go um, through sort of South Kensington rather than the uh, south part of Hyde Park. So next let's look at the move point tool. So this tool enables you to move a point on the route to somewhere else. So for example, this stray point here now in Knightsbridge, if I left click on that and hold down the left mouse button, I can move that on back onto the route so we're not going back on ourselves. Similarly here on Queensgate, I can move that south to the A4 um, and that makes the route a little bit neater. Next, the erase point tool. Uh, this, as the name suggests, removes points from the route. So if I decide I don't want to go north to Paddington, I can erase that point and the route recalculates accordingly. Finally, the divide route tool enables you to divide a route into two distinct routes. So when this is selected, as I hover over the route, you'll see a section of the route appears darker than the rest. And this shows where the divide will be. So at the top of the route here, I'm going to left click and divide about halfway. I get a message advising that these routes are going to share a common point. Is that OK? So I click yes, because that's fine in this instance. And now I have two distinct routes on the left. If I want to navigate those on my device, I'll have to send them to the device individually by right clicking, choosing send to and selecting my device from the list. So finally, I'm going to show you how to plot a more elaborate route. So in order to do this, I'm going to zoom out from central London and pan over towards Essex, a county northeast of London, which has some excellent motorcycling roads. So once I pan over to Essex, I'm going to zoom in on Epping and start the route there. So I'll zoom in on Epping. And as before, I select the new route tool, dismiss the initial dialog box and start plotting. So when you're plotting in this manner, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to pan around on the map. You can also move the pointer to the edges of the screen and that will turn into an arrow, which you can click to pan around the map that way. You can zoom in and out using the plus and minus keys on your keyboard, or indeed you can also select the uh, zoom tool uh, to zoom in and out and then click on the new route tool again and dismiss the dialog box to continue plotting. So here if I click the zoom tool and zoom in on this section, then click back on the new route tool and dismiss this box here, close, I can continue plotting my current route. So I'm going to plot the rest of the route. and finish up close to the start point in Epping. So from there, I'm gonna double click on the route I've just created and rename it using that box at the top. That's another way you can rename the route. Then close that box and right click and send it to my device. So that's how to plot a route from scratch. Send it to your device import it onto your device, navigate it, edit it, and also plot a more elaborate route. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe.